Bismillahi wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillahi wa ba'd. Dear brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We're talking about Al-Muharram, the sacred month of Allah. And I use that term very uh, specifically because this is how the Prophet alayhi salatu wa spoke about this month. And remember this, my dear brothers and sisters, there's no other month in the entire Islamic calendar where Allah's name is attached to the name of that month. And that, subhanAllah, is something we should immediately reflect upon. Look in the wording of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa This is in the Jami' of Imam Tirmidhi. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrates that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Afdulu siyam ba'da siyam al-shahri ramadhan, shahrullahi al-muharram. He says that the, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam, he said that the afdal, the one that has the most merit, carries the most reward of fasting after the month of Ramadan. So Ramadan, no doubt. The fast of Ramadan are unequal with any other fast. They have the most superior uh, fadl, uh, favor and grace attached to them. But after Ramadan, it's what? Shahrullah al-Muharram. The sacred month of Allah. This is, uh, and what a beautiful title, not that we gave, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave. And in another narration, very similar to this in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, he says, Afdul Asiyam Ba'da Ramadan, Shahrullah Al-Muharram. Again, he says that the, the, the greatest merit in fasting after Ramadan is to be found in the sacred month of Allah. Wa Afdul Salat Ba'da Al-Farida, Salatul Layl. And the best prayer after the five Fard prayers, which carries the most reward is Salatul Layl. It's the Hajjad. It's the night prayer, SubhanAllah. This, what we're mentioning here, see Muharram, other names were very beautiful names that uh, again in, we find in, in Islamic literature is that it's called Shahrullah al asam It's called the silent month of Allah. Why? Because it's silent. Why? We hear no warfare. There's no clanging of swords. There's nothing because it's one of the ultimate sacred months and it's Tahrim. And this is it's absolutely prohibited, prohibited from fighting. And then this is, of course, from the day that Allah SWT created the heavens. And the earth. of course, it also marks the, is the beginning of the Islamic calendar. And the ulama give a, a logic to this. They say that you performed Hajj in Dhul Hijjah, the 12th month, and you pray that all your sins have been forgiven. And you start the new year with sins forgiven, inshallah. That, that is one of the uh, reasons that the ulama give. And this was, of course, at the time of Umar radiallahu anhu and they also set the calendar to coincide with that the, it would be the hijrah that would mark the islamic calendar as well but something i would just like to conclude on about this phrase is such an immense phrase shahrullah al-muharram the sacred month of allah this is what they the, in the arab grammarians they mention is idafat tashrif this is a possessive construct for honor that we're connecting something with Allah. And no doubt, all of the months and all of time and everything belongs to Allah. But this is the only month where the Prophet directly said, this is the month of Allah. So they say, for example, notice how the Prophet ﷺ is addressed in the Quran and also in the Ahadith literature. He's Rasulullah. He's not just the messenger. He's the messenger of God. Take, for example, Safa and Marwa. They're the Sha'airullah, the symbols of Allah. Take the Kaaba itself. It's Baytullah, the house of God. Take the she camel of uh, uh, Salih السلام, to the tribe of Thamud in the Hijr. It's called Naqatullah, the she camel of Allah. Again, this is Litashrif, to give the honor to it. So the month of uh, Muharram is massively honored by being connected to Allah. And finally, very beautiful one that the, the ulama make mention of take Jesus Christ himself, alayhi salatu wasalam. He's called in the Quran, he's either he's known Al Masih or named by his name Isa. But immediately after that, and check the Quran for yourself, it's so beautiful. Immediately after that, Allah mentions Ibn Maryam, the Messiah or Jesus, the son of Maryam. This is again idafat al tashrif that he, that Jesus alayhi salam, is being given, given honor by the fact you are the son of that great woman, Maryam alayhi salam. My dear brothers and sisters, may Allah give us the tawfiq to really contemplate and think about this, that this is the only month in the entire Islamic calendar which is named by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as Shahrullah, the month of Allah, Al-Muharram, the sacred month of Allah. Jazakallah khairan, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.